peanut butter is going to riot if she doesn't get to make her daily appearance. Here's the queen herself. Look at you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kendall and today I get to do a fun video that I have been waiting to do since they, it, this has been announced. Peanut butter, no. And I'm talking about none other than the Suns Out Books Out Readathon. So the Suns Out Books Out Readathon is happening on June from June 20th to June 26th. And some of my favorite people ever hosting it. You have Olivia from Liv's Library. You have Keisha from A Book Like You. You have Elizabeth from Ponytails and Paperbacks. You have Lauren from Lauren Love Reads. And you have Mackenzie from A Literary Lane. Um, her channel, I think, is Mackenzie Lane now. But what else could you possibly want in a readathon? They are doing some fun, fun things that I cannot wait to get into. Um, I went to the beach as you guys know this past week so I uh, took all my books for the readathon that I already picked out and I took a bunch of pictures and I cannot wait to post them and just be immersed in this readathon. It's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the books that I'm reading and then I will go more in depth into what this readathon is and what it contains and what it's about. Ooh, the life of a pale ginger. Um, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the buddy read that they picked out for this it sounds so good and it is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. The cover is giving me scary summer vibes. It's giving me, um, oh my gosh I forgot the movie. What is the movie? Friday the 13th. No. Yeah, Friday the 13th. It's giving me that vibe. I kind of like it. So we have our main character, Goldie, who always goes to this camp. Um, the camp is Alpine Lake. This is where she feels most at home. She loves this camp. She's always felt like a, you know, special connection to this camp. And I think that that's really cute. Um, I don't know how cute this camp is going to be, though. Um, most of the people who attend this camp are these rich kids whose parents can afford to send them there. And Goldie happens to be one of them, and they pay a lot of tuition to go to this camp. So a lot of people don't get to enjoy it, but Goldie gets to. Um, so Goldie starts working as a counselor at the camp. She's very excited. She's ready to see her friends. And she has this dark secret that she has been wanting to talk to them about. I don't know about you guys, but if I had a dark secret, I probably necessarily wouldn't want to be talking about it to anybody. But Goldie wants to. For what reason? I have no idea. But then this kid turns up dead at the lake and her one of her friends, Ava, was also at the lake the night of this death. And Goldie knows that it can't be an accident. So there's supposed to be murder. There's supposed to be thrills, suspense, um, betrayals, lies, secrets. What more could you want? And um, it just gives off summer vibes because of the bathing suit and the sunglasses. So I'm really, really excited to see this and hear all of the girls' thoughts on this read as well. So the first prompt is to read a book with yellow on the cover. And I chose Taylor Jenkins Reads um, One True Loves book. Um, if you can tell, it does have a yellow book on the cover right here. And this one also has like a yellow spine. So I'm counting that. Um, it does look different than the like reprints that have come out. But I really like this cover. So I'm counting it. <clears throat> um, the only book I have read by Taylor Jenkins Reid has been um, Daisy Jones and the Six. I got halfway through Evelyn Hugo and I never finished it. Um, not that it wasn't in not... No, speak English please um not that I wasn't like enjoying it but I think it was kind of like in a slump and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to read and I just don't think I was in the mood for the book itself so I think that's why but I will probably end up picking it up I really want to get more into Taylor Jenkins read because I love her writing and I just think she's a fabulous author so we're following our main character Emma who marries her high school sweetheart Jesse and you know she's completely in love with him he is the love of her life 
Emma is a freelance writer and her husband is a production assistant on nature documentaries and they're traveling the world and just enjoying the sights and you know not holding back in their lives her husband Jesse goes on an assignment and um over the Pacific Ocean there's some type of island he goes on I'm not entirely sure what but his helicopter ends up crashing into the Pacific Ocean Emma quits her job and moves back home to be with her family um <clears throat> because I don't think she can handle that she doesn't have Jesse in her life anymore. Um, so then Emma meets this guy named Sam who um, she just kind of starts falling in love with and they end up getting engaged. But then Jesse shows up and he has been trying to get back to Emma and he's alive and Emma has a choice. Does she pick her husband who she thought was dead or does she pick her fiance who she is now also in love with? This book sounds so gut-wrenching that I'm a little nervous to read it because I don't even know how you make that kind of decision because you were literally in love with two people for two different reasons. You have your husband who you spent a life with and or part of your life with and thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with but he died and you put yourself back together for like 10 years and there's just so much going on so I fully expect this book to break my heart um, in the best way possible. The next book is Read a Chiller, which they are calling a chill thriller. I really love this prompt. I have been into mysteries and thrillers, as you guys know, because my June TBR is full of them. And this is just going to add to it. Um, Olivia and Kayla. Wait, no. Yeah, I went shopping, book shopping with Olivia and Kayla. And Olivia was like, you have to get this book. And me and Kayla both bought it because... We have heard so many people raving about it. I'm pretty sure that I've heard Caitlin from Pride and Paperbacks mention this. And I've heard um, Lauren from Lauren Love Reads. I have heard so many people mention this book. And so I'm really excited to get into it. And it is Finley Donovan is Killing It by Ellie Cosimano. Cosimano? I don't know how you say it. But the cover is so cute. And it's supposed to be like really cute and clever and funny. And also surprising, so I'm really excited to read it. It says, most moms are ready to kill someone by 8.30 a.m. on any given morning. So I just think that's hilarious, and I cannot wait to dive into this. So Finley's kind of, her life is kind of chaotic. She's a single mom of two. She's a struggling writer. Her life is pretty, like, all over the place. So somehow, she's over her talking about her new novel, which is a suspense novel, and I don't even know how she gets looped into this, but she gets looped into taking a job where she has to get rid of somebody's husband. She literally took an assassination job by mistake. Nice. Um, so Finley's learning. I'm thinking she's taking this as an opportunity to learn. Um, she's getting tangled up in this murder investigation. Everything is going haywire and I think it's going to be hilarious and funny and I think this is like the perfect chill thriller for this readathon. The next book is read a book that was chosen by a friend. As I mentioned before, I love Olivia Choose my book. Um, I trust her reading um, habits because me and her have similar taste and we pretty much like the same exact things. So I'm always like, I will take any recommendation you give me. And so she chose Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I know Keisha read this book and she loved it. Um, I don't remember if anybody else has read this book or not, but it has the cutest, like they made a reprint of the cover and look how cute. It's so cute. Just screams, screams summer and like, well it screams fall, but <laughs> I think it'll be cute for the summer. It's pretty, it's pink. So it sounds really intriguing. So we're following our main character, Macy, and she has her life planned out. She's going to be this pediatric resident. She's going to plan her wedding to um, an older, she just says an older, financially secure man. Um, so whatever that means. And she's just going to stay to herself and, you know, she's going to make sure she has a secure job, a secure marriage, and that's just going to be that. But then she runs into a problem. Her problem being Elliot, the first love of her life. And you can see how this can get a little bit confusing or messed up, if you will. So I'm really excited about this because you're going back and forth in between the old timeline of Macy and Elliot when they were younger and now. And that is just like one of my new favorite things. Um, 
I recently read Every Summer After and that's exactly how that book was written and I loved it. I will go more into that in my like June wrap up but it was amazing and so if this is anything like that I know I'm going to enjoy it. This sounds kind of similar to um Every Summer After by Carly Fortune so I'm excited to see um if I enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed that one as well. I'm also going to be using this book for the prompt of read a book while on a picnic. I'm going on a picnic with Olivia and hopefully Kayla. Um, her life is kind of chaotic right now because if you guys don't know she's posted it on her Instagrams um, but she is expecting another baby and I'm so super happy for her and so she has a lot going on. She you know she's about to be a mom of two and so you know if she can't make it she can't make it because her life is chaotic right now so um but I hope I get to see her soon I love her and she is just like this she's I swear she's like the funniest person in our like little three-person friend group of me Olivia and Kayla because she just is hilarious she is the most outgoing person ever um and I need some of that in my life so I thought it was fitting to read this book with, on a picnic with Olivia since she's picking it out for me. The next one is to read a book with an ocean island or beach setting. I honestly don't know if this one does. I don't know if it's a island but I picked It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Um, It has a lighthouse. <laughs> That's literally the sole purpose of picking this and he's a fisherman so I figured it's probably gonna have some sort of water in it. So you have Piper who is, you know, we'll call her Prissy. Um, she's gotten everything handed to her in life. She does whatever she wants. She has no consequences really. Um, she's this fashionista. She's proper. She likes things done a certain way but she goes to this or she either goes to a party or throws a party and she ends up in jail and her dad has had enough of that. So he basically cuts Piper off and her sister and he sends them both to, um, so I thought it was her father, but it's her stepfather. He sends them to run their late father's dive bar, which is in Westport, Washington. And she's not even there for long before she meets Brendan, who is this fisherman. I've heard so many good things about Brendan. I'm so excited to read about him. I'm hoping he becomes a new book boyfriend because I love book boyfriends. So Piper is determined to show her stepfather and Brendan now that she is capable to do anything she wants to do. But literally everywhere she goes, Brendan's there because it's such a small town. And so she really can't get away from him. And, um, you know, things start to happen. Attraction starts to grow. And, ugh, I cannot wait. Um, but this is one where she's choosing between the life she had at her home in L.A. Or the life that she's making for herself here in Washington. And if she wants Brendan to be a part of it. This book reminds me of Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez that I just read. So good. Um, it was pretty good. I really liked it. And so I think this one's going to have some similarities and hopefully it lives up to its expectations and I can read more of Tessa Bailey's books. So those are the books that I'm planning to read during this readathon. Um, and I'm going to go over with you guys some of the other things that are going on during the readathon. So there are photo prompts, which you can find all of this on any of the girls' Instagrams. I will leave their links down below to their YouTube pages. They'll have all of their video stuffs. Um, set out now and they have all the prompts and everything that you need to know on their accounts um, so that you can get prepared for this readathon because I highly highly encourage you to participate. So they're doing um, photo prompts so you have day one which is a picture of your TBR stack. Um, you have day two which is BYBB bring your own book and beverage so I'm gonna go get like a summertime drink and enjoy it and it's gonna be cute and fun. Um, and then day three is image with water or sun I really like this one because no matter where you are, if you can't get water, you can definitely get sun in the background. And this is all about enjoying summer and just getting out there and getting to read and getting your sunshine and your daily, daily summer feels. Um, then you have day four, which is your favorite reading spot, which I haven't figured out what my favorite reading spot is. Usually I read on my bed. It's not my favorite. I usually like to be in a comfy chair, but I currently don't have a comfy chair, so 
I'm gonna have to think on this one. And then day five is a summery outfit. I think this one was so cute because I have been wanting to take a picture in this certain outfit that I had for summer and I finally got to and so I cannot wait to just post these photos and just get immersed in this readathon. They have a discord group which I will also leave in the link down below that you can join because they're going to be talking about the counselors which is the buddy read and everything else that's going on. Um, there will be a reading sprints on Olivia's channel on Friday, June 24th at 8 p.m. Again, all this information will be in their, um, on their pages. So if you want to remember that or write it down, go ahead and go check them out. And they're also doing a movie night, which they will use the Discord group to talk about and to host it on. Um, and they're going to be watching The Summer I Turned Pretty on Amazon Prime on Saturday, June 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be the cutest little readathon ever. I cannot wait. It is just, oh my gosh, I can't even handle it. When Olivia and them talked about it and like announced it, I was just wanting to scream because it's some of my favorite human beings, you know, going all out for this readathon and they're putting their all into it and they have created these cute templates. They have just thought of everything and I am so super happy to get involved in it and to read these books so I hope that you guys will join as well and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are as excited for this readathon and for summer as I am and I will see you guys in my next video.